everybody, welcome back to the channel. Raven here, and I'm bringing you some news. Morgan Geyser, y'all remember the one that tried to unalive her best friend Peyton from the Waukesha Slenderman stabbing case I did a video on a while back? I will link that video somewhere around here. She is trying to get released. Yeah, y'all heard that right. She is trying to get released from the mental health institution. She wants the same three doctors that tried to that she tried to get a couple of years ago to come back and they typically have 60 days to report their findings. Whether she could be released early and if she can under what conditions. Do you all think she should be released? Now, y'all need to keep in mind that Anissa Wire has already been released. She is already no longer supervised as well, which I find that to be very early. I, I don't think they should be released yet, but the, the doctors at the mental institution felt that Anissa Wire was healthy enough and no longer a threat to herself or society to release her. Obviously, Morgan Geyser is a little bit of a different case, considering the fact that she is the one that did, like I said before, she's the one that did majority of the damage. I wonder what poor Peyton feels about this. I'm sure she's probably terrified. You know, these girls are the reason she has all these scars and probably nightmares and PTSD and all these other issues. This, I, I just don't know what to think. Like I said, I don't know if they deserve to be released, at least not yet, but because Anissa Wire already is, it is likely shown that that will help Morgan Geyser be released. My concern is that once the two of them are released together, will they come in contact with each other again? Because we all know that once they were charged with the attempt of unaliving a Peyton, that she and that Anissa and Morgan and Peyton were not allowed to have communication with each other, especially Anissa and Morgan. They were not allowed to talk to each other and they were not allowed to talk to Peyton. So what happens when they're released? Is anyone else concerned about this or am I the only one? Let me know what you think, if she should be released or not. Let me know what you think about if they're going to try to communicate with each other again in the comment section down below. And... I will see you on the next video. Bye.